Hey everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to make a sugar easter egg. To start out you'll need to have something that's okay to be baked in an oven. I have a marble easter egg. You can use a ball of foil in the shape of an egg. Whatever you have lying around. Then use a sheet of white clay and coat the egg completely and smooth out any lines or creases until you get something like this. Then you can use an uh, egg shaped cookie cutter and cut out an opening. And then just make it a clean cut, remove anything that's left over. Then with a knife of some kind, cut a line all the way around it on the edge. Make sure it goes all the way through the clay. So it'll look like that. Okay, after the clay has been baked for a little bit, it should peel off of the marble egg pretty easily. Just do it carefully. <laughs> for this step, if you don't have clear sand or white sand, or sand in general, um, you can skip this step. And I'll show you what to do later on. And um, if you do have it, <laughs> just take some liquid Sculpey TLS and put it on the outside and use your fingers to spread it evenly so the entire outer edge will be sticky and use some sand and just dip it in and make sure it's completely covered. do that to the other half. Then if any of it sticks to the inside, just use a paintbrush or something to sweep it all up. To make the grass for the inside, I use this tiny little cheese grater. But you could use a knife and just cut some clay up into tiny pieces. Then use some liquid Sculpey again. And put the grass pieces where you want them to go. Then you can add whatever decoration you want on the inside. I made this little chocolate bunny. I'll put a link to my video on how to make chocolate bunnies if you haven't seen it before. Just glue them in. Then if you think you're finished filling the middle, add some liquid Sculpey to the edges and glue the two sides together. And make sure they match up pretty well. <laughs> then I added some pink flowers because I thought it looked kind of plain, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> then to make the frosting for the edges, I took two coils of purple, then I twirled them and to attach it, just put some more liquid Sculpey down on the edge. And just glue it down. 
then I did the same thing at the crease where the two sides meet just to hide it. Then I added this purple flower on top so I could use this as a charm and have something that I could stick a pin into because <laughs> the uh, white eggshell was kind of hard already so a pin wouldn't go through it. And you should get something like that. Easter sugar egg. For the people who don't have sand to add the sugar effect to the eggshell, um, after your entire project has been baked, you can cover the shell part, the white area, with glaze and then put some maybe clear glitter on it or whatever you have that looks kind of sugary and let it dry and then put another coat of glaze over that to help it stay in place and that's about it um thank you for watching remember to rate comment and subscribe bye